In this video, we are going to solve the equation x to the power 4 minus 10 times x cubed plus 23 times x squared minus 10x plus 1 equals 0. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. One thing that makes this equation special is that there is a symmetry in the coefficients of this quartic polynomial. The coefficients are in descending order 1, minus 10, 23, minus 10, and 1. And you will read in ascending order, it is 1, minus 10, 23, minus 10, and 1, which is actually the same. We can deduce one thing from this. If we have a solution, say, A, then 1 over A is also a solution. Now here's why. If a is a solution, then I can say that a to the 4 minus 10 times a cubed plus 23a squared minus 10a plus 1 equals 0. Now at this point, I can divide both sides by a to the 4. So we'll have 1 minus 10 times 1 over a plus 23 times 1 over a squared minus 10 times 1 over a cubed plus 1 over a to the 4 is also equal to 0. Now, so from this we can say that 1 over a all to the 4 minus 10 times the same thing cubed plus 23 times the same thing squared minus 10 times the same thing plus 1 equals 0. So that means this 1 over a is also a solution. So this proves that if we have one solution a and the other solution, then I should say that its reciprocal is also a solution. Now because the polynomial has degree 4, that means there are 4 solutions and they can form two pairs such that inside each pair, one solution is the reciprocal of the other. So I can let a 1 over a and then b 1 over b be the solutions of this quartic equation. Now at this point, whether a and b are equal is not important. And so we can analyze each pair separately. We can take a look at the first pair, a and 1 over a. If we only take these two solutions into consideration, there will be solutions to some quadratic equation because there are only, we have only two solutions, so the polynomial should be of degree 2. If I try to factor the quadratic, it will be something like x minus a times x minus 1 over a. something like this. Now if we expand this, I'll get x squared minus a plus 1 over a times x plus 1 equals 0. Now at this point, it's not important on the coefficient of x. We just need to bear in mind that we have x squared at the start and plus 1 at the end. This applies to the other pair b and 1 over b as well. So that means I can kind of factorize the quartic into the product of two quadratics of this form. So I can say that let our original polynomial to be equal to product of two quadratics, say of the form x squared minus px plus 1, x squared minus qx plus 1, for some real numbers p and q. So if we can solve for p and q, then it will be much easier to solve our quartic equation. What we need to do is to check the coefficients of x cubed, which is this one, and x squared which is this one. So for 
coefficients of x cubed it can be produced by multiplying minus px and x squared or x squared and minus qx so that means minus p minus q equals minus 10 so that means p plus q equals 10 that's the first relation on p and q we can do the same similar things on x squared well actually not some type over here x squared can be produced by multiplying the ones with x squared or multiplying the middle terms minus p and minus q so minus p times minus q plus 1 plus 1 equals 23 and simplifying we have that pq plus 2 equals 23 and pq equals 21 so these two equations should be easy to solve we can quickly see that P and Q should be three and seven. Of course, we can you can you can reverse the order, but that's imp not important because from this we can quickly say that therefore our original equation becomes this, and so we can solve for each quadratic. We can solve them separately. And for that, we only require the quadratic formula. So for the first one, we have 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4, all divided by 2. And similar for the second one. And so our solutions are 3 plus or minus root 5 over 2 or 7 plus or minus and that's root 45 and simplifying you will get 7 plus or minus 3 times root 5 over 2 so these are the final answers to that quartic equation